What's going on guys? Okay, I have wanted to make this video for a while. Um, actually, well over a year and a half to be exact. I don't even remember exactly how long I've been trying to get this one done, but I know it's over a year and a half. We're finally here. What am I talking about? <clears throat> this little number right here. This is my youngest son's 9mm AR. So, quick specs on it, as you've already guessed by the title. Um, this is one that I put together for him that is kind of a conglomeration of, of stuff. The, the lower is a local one um, from, a, from a friend. Um, the bulk of it, though, is the kit that I got from Stern Defense. It consists of their 9mm adapter, which fits in a regular 5.56 mag well and allows you to run 9mm pistol mags, in this case, Glock mags, their uh, 6 inch barrel, and their bolt. So that comes as a combo uh, package together the, the adapter, the bolt, and the barrel. Um, since it's a 6 inch barrel, we just put a simple 9mm flash can on it. Um, I'll get into to that in just a minute. Why? Um, one of the new 25 millimeter uh, MD25 red dots from Primary Arms, um, SB Tactical Brace, you know, the, the usual accoutrement. So, first off, a little bit on why. My son's primary gun that he loves is his bolt action 5.56, <clears throat> that uh, Mossberg MVP. But he wanted something for up close and personal use, um, etc. So after letting him think about it and talk about it, and uh, let me turn that off, sorry, and discussing some things, he wanted a nine millimeter AR. Well, I had already bought this lower for him. Um, I got two of them some years ago as first gun builds for him and his brother. Um, his brother's gun, you've already seen, it's a, just a simple 5x6M4 uh, setup that he wanted. But since I already had the lower, but he wanted 9mm, and we wanted to stick with Glock mags, I'm like, okay, I'd still like for him to be able to retain the ability to, to shoot 5.56 5 since that's what the lower is. Enter Stern Defense. Their adapter just goes right in your 5.56 5 mag well, and it's... An ingenious design. There's plenty of videos out here you can go watch to get all the technical specs. But basically, with one Allen screw right there, you loosen that up, and then you simply hit your regular mag release, and out it comes. Take the upper off, throw a 5.56 five, upper on there, and you're right back to, to 5.56. Five, so it's really easy to have a dual purpose gun. Keep that in mind. Um, for those of you that are concerned, know when you, if you accidentally push the mag release on the gun, the adapter doesn't come out. It's locked in there by that, but also by the regular mag catch. But even if you forget and hit it, it ain't coming out. To take the mags out, you have to push that right there. So it's, it's you know, different than your normal manual of arms, but it's close enough to not be a big deal. But you don't have to worry about it accidentally coming out. <clears throat> Um, what else? What else was I going to go over with this? Anyway, until I remember what it was. This gives him the ability to, we can put on a 5.56 five, upper for him, take that out and run 5.56, five, dual purpose gun, easy peasy. Um, that to me is one of the key things I wanted to point out for those of you that may be in a similar situation and can't maybe necessarily afford you know, two guns, but you'd like the ability to run either one of those those rounds, 9mm or 5.56, five, if you've already got Glock mags, do it. Okay, this will let you have two guns in one. Additionally, Stern does have these adapters available for other pistol mags besides Glock. Um, I know they've got them for the Smith & Wesson M&P mags, and I believe there's one other, but don't quote me on that. You have to go to their website and check it out. Um, 
the adapter does give you a functional last round ball hold open. And I don't have an empty magazine or I would show it to you. But it will actuate the actual uh, standard bolt catch on your 5.56 lower. It does work as advertised with the Glock Max. So that's a nice feature. One caveat with that. Make sure you are running an extended 9mm buffer. Preferably a nice heavy one. If you don't run an extended 9mm buffer or use a spacer, the bolt will cycle too far back and what ends up happening because it's a fixed bolt, it doesn't have a bolt and carrier like a 5.56, the bolt itself extends the overall length, it's going to cycle way back and when that last round bolt hole open engaged, instead of going past it and then hitting it like a 5.56, it goes way past it and then slams into it with a lot of momentum. It won't take many times of that happening before you will break your bolt catch. I saw it happen on a friend's gun. I'm just telling you, make sure you run an extended 9mm buffer. If you want to swap back and forth, have the 9mm buffer and spring and a 5.56 buffer and spring and just take the whole assembly out whenever you swap uppers. Easy peasy, nothing to it. So, moving on. Why did it take so long to get you guys this video? Well, in short, the gun has ran 100%, okay? But I was having issues with the accuracy. I've watched a lot of videos and I've seen guys getting really good, you know, comparable 9mm accuracy. And I just couldn't duplicate it. It didn't matter what I shot at... 25 yards, you know, it was good and respectable. But as soon as you got to 50 yards, I literally couldn't keep five shots on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And I'm watching all these other videos on guys with, with you know, Stern's barrels and bolts and everything. And they're like, way better. And I'm like, what's going on here? I know it's not just me. Because I could lay that down, pick up another gun, and I'm back, you know, nice and tight. Tried a ton of different ammo and just couldn't get it to, to group. So, here's where the good part comes in. And this is what I want to focus on. I contacted Stern Defense. They were very quick to respond back to me. I showed them what I had going on. They said, nope, that is not acceptable accuracy for you know, what we expect out of our barrels here's a call tag send us the entire upper and let us take a look at it now mind you this is one that I put together using their barrel and bolt so it's not a complete upper from them or anything irregardless they wanted to see the whole thing now I'm fairly confident in my abilities to put ARs together I've put literally hundreds of them together over the years. I know what I'm doing, but I'm human. Could have been something I missed up somewhere. Anyway, they got it, immediately started taking a look at it, contacted me back and said, yep, we're having the same problems. However, upon inspection, there was a tiny little burr inside the barrel, and I believe it was towards the muzzle, I could be wrong, that was missed during final finishing and that was throwing off the accuracy. Makes perfect sense. They cleaned it up, test fired it, and they were getting nice little tight, tight groups with it. Awesome. Why do I point all that out to you? Because contrary to many people on YouTube and in the industry, these things are man-made. Man-made objects are going to have problems and going to fail at some point and some time. It's going to happen. I don't care who you are. What I look for in a company is do they stand behind their product 
and are they interested in taking care of it when something comes up? That's what you look for. Not a company that's putting out a 100% flawless record, because that ain't going to happen. It's how do they take care of it when a problem does come up, because it will. For me, Stern handled this beautifully. They got it squared away, got it back to me. Now, it's taken over a year and a half because, well, life. I spent a lot of time trying to diagnose it, shoot it, get different loads, etc., because I wanted to do everything I could on my part before I made the assumption that it was a problem on their end, okay? Because that's another thing people don't seem to want to admit is, you know what? You're not all Olympic grade uh, shooters, okay? I, I hate to be the one to burst bubbles, but you're not. I'm not. Most of the time, guns are far more accurate than any of us are humanly capable of. So I spent a lot of time trying to figure out, is it the ammo? Is it me? Did I put something together wrong? What was it? Factor in life in general, finding time to do all that. It took forever before I finally got around to contacting them and say, hey, here's what I got going on. They got on it, fixed it up, got it back to me. Now, I've had it back for a couple weeks. Life again. Found time to get out. I shot it. And I'm happy with it, okay? Now, I'm fixing to roll in some, some footage from, from the range. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, a lot of you are going to be disappointed. It's not uh, 15 minutes of me blasting 500 rounds down range. In case you all haven't noticed, ammo is hard to get right now. And I'm not blasting through it. I did just enough to function test it and re-zero it and check the accuracy and that was it. And I'm not even going to show you all that. What I'm going to show you is where I got my final group that I was happy with and what it's capable of. And I may repeat a little bit here, but you'll just have to deal with it. It's still not the best fan of full metal jacket ammo, okay? It, the, the groups are fairly large with full metal jacket. Now the caveat there is the full metal jacket that I got that I was trying was just some bulk uh, 124 grain white box Winchester, which we know is not exactly match grade ammo. Um, some 115 grain uh, PMC, uh, I think it's PMC bronze. Again, not match grade ammo. Um, However, here's the difference. Before, at 50 yards, you might get two out of five rounds of either one of those, those brands to hit steel silhouette. It, it would completely miss a steel silhouette three out of five times with either one of those loads. Now, with both of those same loads, at 100 yards, unbraced offhand, I can ring the steel every single time. It is minute a man at 100 yards with cheap crappy ammo. I am more than content and happy with that. That's what my son wants out of this gun. Um, however, using our preferred social load that I have quite a bit of, this is some 124 grain plus P gold dot. It really likes the gold dot. And you'll see in the video uh, what one of my final final groups was. And unfortunately, I didn't think to turn the camera on while I was shooting the group. But I wasn't exactly slow firing it. I mean, it wasn't a fast cadence, but it wasn't really, really slow. I wasn't trying to you know concentrate on breathing and my trigger piss. It was more of a bang, bang, bang. Just getting them in there, right? If I concentrated a little harder and took my time, it probably would have been even better, but I'll let you see what it is for yourself right here. So this is my final zero group at 50 yards uh, using some 124 grain plus P uh, gold dot loads, which is what we typically keep loaded for social use in our 9 millimeters. So I think that is plenty acceptable uh, out of this little, little gun especially considering what it was doing of being all over a, a sheet of paper. So that will work. All right, so as you can see, guys, 
accuracy is squared away on the gun now. Um, <clears throat> other than that, this thing has been 100% uh, flawless as far as the reliability goes. Um, and we use uh, Glock mags, KCI mags, and uh, Magpul Glock mags. Primarily the Magpul Glock mags, that's what we've got the most of. Um, and as I said, uh, my son likes running the, uh, I think the 24 rounders. So these work, uh, all the other mags work. Again, reliability has been absolutely 100%. Uh, can't say enough good things about it in that regards. Again, now that the accuracy straightened out, it's, a, it's definitely a, uh, a good defensive weapon for, uh, for my son. So, I'm going to put a few more through it here on the steel for you. This is just some 124 grain uh, full metal jacket loads. Um, they're not nearly as accurate uh, as, the, uh, as those hollow points, but, you know, for general bulk use, it is what it is. Uh, it really likes the HP stuff, though. But, again, at 50 yards on steel, I've even went back to 100, and 10 out of 10 standing uh, on the steel. So what more can you ask for, right? I will take that every day. Good handling little gun. Okay, now that you've seen it, um, I don't know what else to say. My son's tickle painting with it. Um, he would have been with me to shoot it yesterday, but he's a busy guy and got a lot going on between work and school and girlfriend and life and all that kind of good stuff. So, being a good dad that I am, I took care of the, uh, getting it zeroed and everything for him. Because I'm cool like that. Um, so some of you might be wanting comparison. So like this is my nine millimeter PSA gun that has an eight inch barrel. Um, so for comparison, my eight inch barrel with flash suppressor, oh, y'all can't see that. Duh, let me try to reorient here. So there you go, my nine millimeter with just an A1 flash suppressor is only a little bit longer. However, his is a good bit lighter and the reason we went with this was because we wanted to have a flash can on there for him and what he's doing. Chances are if he's ever using this gun, not going to have hearing protection on, right? By putting the flash can on there, it helps to divert a lot of the noise and muzzle blast forward downrange away from the shooter. Now it's still going to be loud, but it does help a little bit when you don't have hearing protection on. So by going with the six inch barrel, we knew we could put the flash can on there and still keep it under what like my eight inch barrel gun is. With the six inch barrel and nine millimeter, muzzle flash isn't really that big of a deal. Um, it's, it's fairly tame for the most part. So the flash can just made sense. That also lets him get a little bit longer hand guard. So he's not, you know, worrying about getting way out here on the end of the muzzle. Um, now, before any of you comment or say anything, one of the things that we still have planned is we're going to be putting a forward uh, grip stop on there just so that in the heat of a moment, he doesn't accidentally slip that hand forward. But it's not too big of a deal with, with this hand guard, but just for safety's sake, because there's not really a good reason not to, we'll put one on there. I just don't have it ordered yet. Um, but 100% reliable. Since the day we got it, put it together, it has never missed a beat. It has shot everything we've run through it. Um, even a box full of unknown crappy ammo that a buddy of mine gave me that's like, hey, let's just shoot this up and get rid of it. So we did, and it boom, bang, 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 boom, 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 boom. I mean, it sounded like popcorn popping. Every round sounded different. But it fed it, it ate it, it did it. Um, what else can I try to answer before y'all ask? Because I know you're going to ask. Um, I don't remember. I think that was it. So, again, guys, I'm a 
big fan of this setup, especially for uh, somebody like my son who didn't want 15 different guns. He's got his bolt gun that he likes to reach out with. He's got his Glock. And he wanted this to have for, for more close-in social work, as he says. It gives him the ability that we can still add a 5.56 upper to it. So he's got dual ammo uh, usage on one lower and one gun that he's already familiar with. Um, we could set up a little 10.5 inch 5.56 upper for him, or an 11.5, and put a similar optic on it. And the transition between the two will be, will be flawless. So long story short, I am a big fan of Stern Defense. Go check them out. Um, since they make evil gun parts, I'm going to put a link in the description box to my blog. The blog will have links to Stern Defense. No Stern Defense didn't pay me to say this. No Stern Defense didn't... Uh, patting me on the back. Stern Defense doesn't even know I'm doing this until, if they see this, I don't even know if they'll see it. But, I may try to send it to them. Just because I want to know that, I want them to know how much I appreciate them taking care of this and helping that, you know, help me getting this running. Because it's important because it's for my son and given the state of the world today, I really wanted him to have this up and running. So, link below to the blog. Blog will have links to Stern. Um, if there's anything I missed and you guys have got questions, let me know. Um, yeah, it, this makes a great little 100-yard PDW. Um, and with the caveat that I always throw under to you guys that I don't think I mentioned in the range part, with my eyesight and what I'm capable of accuracy-wise, you saw what they're going to do. I have no doubt whatsoever that in my son's hands with his far better eyesight and the proven steady hand that he's got. He's honestly a chip off the old block at when I was his age. Um, and it reminds me of me and it also makes me jealous because he can do it and I can't anymore because, well, you know, age. But anyway, I would not want to be within 100 yards of him and have him wanting to shoot at you with it because chances are he's going to tag you. I'm just saying. Maybe it's bragging a little bit, but I'm just saying. So Stern Defense, thank you for taking care of that for me. Um, guys, don't hesitate to uh, purchase from them because I can tell you from my experience, if there's a problem, they're going to take care of it. Chances of you having a problem are probably, probably nil to minuscule. I think mine was just a fluke and flukes happen. So take care as always guys. Be safe. I'll see you in the next one.